Howdy doodies. I'm coming to you from my favorite mountain, Lookout Mountain, Phoenix. We're having a gorgeous sunset right now, which you cannot see, but I promise you it's there because I'm blind by the sun. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about what to do when you're in a rut, when you just have no motivation to do anything and you have no ideas. Well, uh, I'm here to help you, so keep on watching. Hi everyone. Change of location, as you can see. I hope you enjoyed that little, little, little section of my life, which was the mountain that we like to hike. Like I said, that was my favorite mountain, and I will be back there. So you might as well get used to it. <laughs> and I mean that in the most nicest possible, nicest way. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about what to do when you're stuck in a rut. Now I want to make it clear that I am in no way an expert at this. I am not a therapist. I am not a life coach. I just, what I can do is I can talk from my experiences and give you some tips um, and ideas about maybe what helped me to get out of my rut. Um, and by no means, like, do, this is not expert advice. So just wanted to reiterate that, that I am not an expert. But hopefully you get to enjoy the video. So um, I don't know about you, but I am not old, but I'm definitely not a teenager anymore. So when you're in your 20s, mid 20s, late 20s, even early 30s, I think you can definitely get into a rut. Um, that's the time when everybody says that you're supposed to figure it out, you're supposed to have your career, either start your career in your 20s, get it going in your mid 20s, and when you're 30, you're supposed to have it all figured out. Well, let me tell you, I've learned this recently, just the fact with my age. Oh, that's my kitty. He's just saying hi. Hi, kitty. Um, being 30 years old, which is how, I, how old I am. <laughs> no judging, please. When I hit 30, I thought I would have it all figured out. This is by no means what I thought, but what society seems to be telling us. When we hit 30, that's it. Figure, have it figured out, you should be married, you should have kids, you should own a house, you should have at least one car, most likely two, because how can you live with one car? You should have a bunch of money, you know, putting it aside, basically settle down, and there you go. Um, I think that we're no longer like that. We're not, maybe the generations before us, Yes, when they were 30, that was considered, you know what, a ripe age of adulthood. <laughs> you are going to be an adult when you're 30 and you were supposed to have it figured out. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I kind of tend to think that they didn't. But I figured out that, you know what, 30, by the way, I do not feel like I'm 30. I know you don't out there either. I'm sure you feel like you're just either, I think 23 is the perfect age, 27 maybe, but nowhere beyond 27. So, I still feel young. I still feel like I have lots to figure out. I also realize that everybody's trying to wing it. Nobody has it figured out. People in their 50s. Heck, I don't think that's, that's old, by the way. <laughs> but if you're in your 50s, you might not have it figured out. And that's okay. I think life is all about the journey. And figure it out as you go. You might change your careers a couple times. You might figure out, you know what? What I studied in college is not at all what I wanted to do. And that's fine. Nobody's gonna judge you. It's your life, live it how you want it. That was a completely off track rant. <laughs> but let's get back on track. So basically we're talking about how do we get out of our rut? You just kind of have given up. You've lost your motivation and you don't know what to do. You just kind of go day by day, weekend by weekend, do the, doing the same old thing, seeing the same old people, maybe not seeing the, anybody. And some people might be okay with that. If you feel great doing the same thing over and over, there's nothing negative to that. If you feel great about that and you're happy and content, then stay doing what you're doing. It's all about finding your true self and finding what makes you happy. For myself, being in a rut, doing the same thing all the time, or not doing really anything, 
is not fun. I feel really it just kind of gets me down, it gets me depressed. On the weekend, I could think, well, man, I could have done so many things. I've never been a party animal, but I still want to do things. I still want to meet new people. I still want to go out there into the world and experience things. The biggest thing I can give you is if you're not happy, do something about it. Some specific ideas about how to get out of your rut is definitely, obviously, I think everybody can come up with this one. Try something completely new. How will you know that you like anything new if you don't actually try it? I personally am terrified of trying something new. I think trying new things, whether it is new hobbies like YouTube, new recipes if you love to cook, going on road trips. That is always something I have enjoyed. Going on road trips, it doesn't have to be multiple days, a week at a time. Go on a day trip. Go get outside of your city, even if there's nothing that interesting outside of your city. Go outside of your city, enjoy the scenery, an activity right there. Have a picnic. Have a picnic with your loved one, with your boyfriend, with your husband, with your family, with your sister, with your friends. Do something fun. Go for a picnic. I think actually picnics are a great idea, just so you know. We're doing that for Valentine's Day. Me and my significant other, we're gonna go and have a nice picnic. Go for a bike ride. Definitely do outdoor activities. Maybe you're not an outdoorsy person, but I think there is somewhere inside of everybody that little part that requires some, some time outside, some time outdoors with nature connecting. It kind of gives you life. It, it, I at least suck energy, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm sucking energy out from nature and I really, really enjoy being outside. Hiking, running, go for a walk, even if you're not a fitness kind of person, going for a leisurely walk outside without your headphones to listen to the world around you, that will help you connect and maybe even spark new ideas as you're taking this walk or run or hike or bike ride. Try something that scares you. Like I said, that kind of ties in with trying something new. Try something that terrifies you, like bungee jumping, which I can tell you, I will never do that. I am too terrified of heights, and I think I will have a physical reaction if I try to do it. So don't do it, you know, don't have to go to extremes. But maybe I can't do bungee jumping, but I might be able to go on a hot air balloon, which will be really fun. <laughs> Start a collection. Now, this sounds kind of weird, but I think starting a collection will help you find things that maybe spark an interest. So let's say I just bought two ducks, which I might show you, I might not. <laughs> two ducks at Goodwill, they were like five bucks, and I just for some reason fell in love with them. I kind of want to start collecting ducks. I might not actually do that because I don't like too much junk <laughs> around the, the house, but these ducks, I kind of want to paint them. I think they're beautiful just to look at. The shape of them is beautiful. And they've inspired me to maybe paint or draw some animals. So I know that's a silly thing, but maybe you start collecting coins and then you get really interested about the history of the coin. And maybe that will spark an interest, stuff like that. Don't get too many little trinkets though, because that can get out of hand. A great way to get out of your rut is to spend more time with your family, friends, and new people. Um, you do not have to force yourself to be around people you really don't like or that you just don't enjoy being around. That's not what I'm talking about. Try to find some time with your loved ones, with, like I said, your family, your sisters, your brothers, your best friends, um, maybe even co-workers if there are not that many friends in your life. And if you do actually plan that time together, like even to go for a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, um, lunch or a drink, you know, happy hour, doesn't kill anyone, um, you might actually find out something about that person that you did not know, they might find out something about you that they did not know, and that will bring you closer together, and who doesn't want that? You want to make connections, and that is a great way to do it. Hi, Kidek. Ah. <laughs> Shush. I'm trying to record here. <laughs> Be quiet. He's going crazy. That's Luigi. 
I might put in a clip of Luigi right here for you so you can enjoy his purring and his talking. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. Let's rub your butt. Oh, yeah. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Play with your mouse? Play with your mouse? You like the mouse? Oh yeah. The pipe cleaner mouse toy. The cheapest ever toy that you love. The best one, huh? Yeah? You like it? <laughs> <laughs> he likes to have conversations. Anyways, ooh, that's a great way to get out of rut. How about get a pet? Save a life? Yeah? Get a cat, get a dog, get a multiple dogs, or just don't be a crazy cat lady or dog guy. Right? Yeah, Luigi agrees. Basically, try to do things that scare you. Try to go outside of your comfort zone. Make connections with people, with nature, go outside, enjoy the fresh air, unplug once in a while. Um, from electronics, from your headphones. You're trying to discover <laughs> new. Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying not to cough and speak to me, cough. <laughs> and it. Shush! Jeez, I am just. Too many distractions! People coughing, cats talking, just. <sighs> Alright, so basically, you're trying something new, try something exciting. As, as long as you're not trying anything new, things are not going to change. So if you try something new, you might hit something that you really, really love, that inspires you every day and that you look forward to doing on the weekend, doing every night. And then you forget to sleep, you know, it happens. Alright, so for now, all I can say is I'm signing off. I hope you liked the video. Maybe give it a thumbs up if you really, really liked it. Um, leave a comment down below, somewhere down there. And I'll see you next time. Bye.